All right, guys, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well and safe during these crazy times. Um, yeah, just hoping that we can all get through this together as soon as possible and, you know, get back out there on the trails, exploring and doing what we do best. So yeah, fingers crossed uh, it's gonna happen soon. Okay, so yeah, today I'm gonna talk through all of our recovery gear. I've laid it all out here on the bonnet for you to see and we're gonna go through each thing and uh, talk a bit about it. And uh, you know, what we do like, what we don't like, any upgrades that I uh, would like to, to do in the near future. We're gonna cover all that now and hopefully yeah, give you guys a bit of an understanding into uh, some of the basic recovery gear that you can use out there on the trails. Um, yeah, let's get into it. If anyone is new here, please do consider subscribing. It really helps us on our YouTube journey. Also hit that notification bell, because we of course don't want you to miss any of our videos. We're releasing them every single week. So yeah, and that will uh, let you know when a new video comes out. Oh, it is absolutely freezing out here today. I mean, you can probably see there's a bit of snow left over from last night on the ground next to me. Um, so yeah, I will do my best to get on with this in a timely fashion, but of course, getting through all the important points to you guys so you don't miss anything. And I do apologize for the uh, flapping sheet in the background. It's really noisy, uh, you can hear it right now. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. So we'll just have to uh, do our best to ignore that and uh, I'll try and film as much as I can in the uh, gaps between the wind, if that's even possible. So to start off, I wanna say, so imagine you've just bought yourself a four wheel drive, four by four, whatever. You wanna get out there, do some overlanding, um, some green laning, whatever it is, you wanna make sure you've at least got some basic recovery gear. And I'd always say like, if you're new to this, um, best not to go out there alone. Try and, you know, join a group or go out with some friends that already do this kind of thing. And at least, you know, be two cars or more, at least for your first trips until you start getting used to what it's all about. Um, but the things you wanna have when you first start off really are, of course, with your, with your vehicle, you want to absolutely make sure that you have a recovery point on the front and the back and that's not just a tie down point that's a proper rated recovery point you want to make sure you've got those and uh, they're ready to use nothing blocking them etc and then you're going to want to have basically your most basic forms of recovery gear your toe strap so a rated toe strap this one you can see it's a six meter toe strap, a breaking strain of 5,000 kilograms. So, you know, you've got that there. If you need to get towed out, one of your mates or whoever's with you or towing one of your mates out perhaps, that's probably more, gonna, more likely to be the, uh, the, the answer, right? Um, you've at least got one of those. Um, you're gonna wanna have yourself at least a couple of these shackles. You can see here, this is rated to uh, they're rated to three and a quarter tons. Got two of those, had those for years now. One of the first things we got, really, really important. Although speaking of, I was telling you where we wanna upgrade, you can now get um, soft shackles, which are made of Dyneema rope, for example. You can get those and those are much, much better, not only because they save weight, because they're so, so, so much safer. You know, if you're, if you're towing or anything under strain, anything that breaks, this is potentially a weapon, could really hurt someone or worse. So removing that aspect of the recovery is always gonna be a good thing. So we're definitely, definitely looking for, to upgrade to a set of um, soft shackles. These things are cheap and if they get you going, that's at least a minimum and they can be used safely. So there's always that option. So yeah, I would say absolute minimum, you want your toe strap and a couple of shackles then at least if you're out laning or um, overlanding, 
and you're not alone, you can at least pull each other out uh, relatively safely. So yes, that's my basic recovery gear advice. If you've got your you know, your rated recovery points, a couple of D shackles and a good toe strap, that's a good start. Uh, get you out there, green laning or overlanding, and you've always got that option then to, to recover from another vehicle as long as you're traveling with another vehicle that is. Next off, I want to mention this is a snatch strap. Um, basically, it works on kinetic energy. So rather than being a solid toe strap, which has no flex, this will actually stretch up to a certain point, which will basically like a giant elastic band. It will pull out and then pull back. So, you know, if you need to do a, a bit of a more in-depth recovery, you're really bogged or stuck, um, this is an option that um, will give that extra sort of pull to get you out of a sticky situation. This one I have here, it is, it's a 10 meter strap, 8,000 kilogram braking strain. And you can see that it's been used a few times already. Um, you gotta keep an eye on the condition of these, make sure there's no tears or um, you know rubbing or anything. Um, just replace it if there is any damage. So another really good thing to have as one of your basic provisions is just a simple set of gloves. Um, so much better, you know, when you get out, it's freezing, you gotta do up and undo D shackles and sort the straps out and things and get it on the, your recovery point. It is, uh, it's really handy to have a pair of gloves, especially when it's this freezing outside, trust me. And uh, as we come on to the winch, which I'm just about to talk about, uh, even more of a reason. So moving on from the basics, um, a major upgrade that many people wanna do and it's really worthwhile doing if you've got the funds available is to add a, a winch. So you can see here, we have our winch max winch. And um, that really gives you a lot more opportunities for self recovery. So, you know, you wanna do some solo expeditions or you're overlanding and um, you just want that there as a backup for if the worst happens or, you know, you just happen to get yourself stuck and the winch can really make the difference of making a recovery situation safer and easier. A few things you want to bear in mind when you have your winch. So these are the controllers. Um, these both are wireless and wired. So you have both options. The wireless fails. You can actually plug it in and plug it into the winch on the control box. We are actually running um, the Winchmax armor line, uh, which is a synthetic rope, um, which is much, much safer than using a traditional cable. Um, so I'd highly recommend fitting out your winch with a synthetic rope. This, a big one, this is your winch blanket, which, um, you know, once you've got your winch line out, you can, um, you put this on top of the winch line opens up, the best to put, you need to put some weight inside. And what I do is I normally stick a couple, it's another a spare strap, that's another solid toe strap, a nine meter uh, with a 5,000 kilogram braking strain. And these also can be used to extend your winch line if you need to do so. So it's handy to have a few. I stick a couple of those in there usually as my weight. You know, there's a few kilos and that goes on your winch line and if the worst happens and it does decide to break this will catch the line before it has time to build momentum and potentially do some serious serious damage so and again yes that's what's on the end of your winch line sometimes or the, the hook on the end of your winch line um, you don't want that flying towards you or your vehicle or anything for that matter so really really Important to have one of those once you get a winch. And also with winch gear, we have a couple of these eight ton snatch blocks. So it basically just means you can change the angle of your winch pull. Um, and we actually have two just for the scenario where, I haven't had to do it, but um, maybe one day we'll get the chance <laughs> if you need to do a reverse winch line pull. So if you don't have a rear winch, and you're stuck and you can only pull from the rear of the vehicle, you can actually put one of these ahead, one of them behind, 
and then attach to the car and actually pull the car backwards. It's not the, the best, but um, in a pinch, it might sort you out. But at least having one of those gives you the option to change the angle of the winch pull if you haven't got something, for example, directly ahead of you, or you need to pull the car to one side to get out of a ditch, something like that. Uh, really handy bit of gear, makes, um, gives you much more, many more options, basically, when it comes to winching. So while we're on the winch, you can see I have the uh, hard line cable here, so you're able to plug the controller in if the wireless fails for whatever reason. So I'll just shut that down there again. Traction boards, our direct 4x4 traction boards. These are really a really good beginner's option to have, really low budget and super handy. You know, if you get stuck in a, in a pinch, whether it's sand, snow, mud, you know, you know, you got bogged, just having those to give you that little bit of extra traction just to get up and out uh, can really make the difference. Again, especially, you know, if you're alone or uh, something, uh, really, really handy. So can't recommend those enough. A really nice addition to have a set of those, you know, even if you just want to use them to level up at camp at night, uh, really handy for that and um, can be used for many different things, even a table or whatever, but uh, essentially a really good item just to get yourself out of trouble relatively easily and safely. Uh, definitely recommend having a set of those. Going back to the snatch block, this is something else that in uh, recent times, modern and better ver uh, options are now available. You can actually get yourself uh, a simple light alloy circle, which ha has the groove for the winch rope, um, but removes all of that weight and um, a lot of the danger um, by, have, by not having this huge heavy thing, basically. Um, you can find those pretty re readily available now. Um, so we'll be looking to upgrade those two in the near future. Next up, we got our faithful trees drop. So this is basically, it's a bit thicker. Uh, so you can wrap it around a tree trunk. Um, obviously the same idea as a strap with the ends, um, but it gives you that functionality if you've got a winch that is. And actually guys, any of the gear we have here, or most of the gear we have here is available from the same places that we got it. So if you're looking for a winch, we have a winch max winch. The snatch blocks are also from winch max. The winch blanket uh, from winch max and uh, one or two of the straps. Um, you can get 15% off snatch blocks, the armor line synthetic ropes. Uh, and other recovery gear by using code JK15. Um, unfortunately, that's not on the winches, but on the other things, you can get that discount. Um, traction boards, Direct 4x4, you probably know already. You can get 10% off anything at Direct 4x4 uh, using code JK Overland, or one word, capitals. And yeah, I'll stick the details to both of those in this video description below. We would love to hear from you guys about the recovery gear you're using. Uh, is there anything you would add to this uh, to take on your overlanding trips uh, or green greening trips even? Um, yeah, so what's the gear you're using? Any of you trying out the new snatch block designs, the FR rings or um, the soft shackles for instance? I'd love to hear about that. So yeah, do get in touch in the comments. Let's, um, let's talk. Um, but other than that, I think we've pretty much covered uh, our gear anyway. Um, I'm not saying this is the only way and the way it should be done. This is just what we do. So just take it as a, a reference point. All right, guys, I think we're uh, pretty much coming to the end there of this. So um, do subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like, uh, it really helps us. So thank you, appreciate that. Um, and join us on Patreon if you'd like to get even more content and see what we're up to behind the scenes. I'll stick a link and find out more about that. Should come up at the top now and uh, at the end of this video. Also, let me know guys if you like these kind of videos because uh, I've got some ideas to do some other things. Uh, for example, you know, what spares we carry um, in the vehicle when we're on overlanding trips. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something like that. Until next week, take it easy. Um, don't forget to write to us in the comments. We want to chat with you guys. So yeah, all right, see you next time. Ciao.